Okay friends, so in today's video, we are talking all about The Real Real, and if you're interested in that type of content, please stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm Kay, and you've arrived at my weird little corner of the internet. Welcome. If you're new here, I'm a part-time reseller, mostly on eBay and Poshmark, but I do dabble in quite a few other platforms, one of which is The Real Real, which we will be talking about in today's video. If you're at all interested in that type of content or reseller content in general, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you here. I post a lot of thrift hauls, um, some thread up unboxings, uh, The Real Real content when I can get to it or am sending a box in and uh, infrequent what sold videos. So if you didn't know, The Real Real is an online consignment service that specializes in luxury and designer brands. I've been selling on there for quite a few years, um, but it's been maybe like six months since I last sent in a box. But right now they are running a promotion where if you send in 10 items that they price $95 or more, you will get a $100 site credit. And if you send 20 items that they price for $95 or more, you'll get a $200 site credit. So I'm hoping that a lot of these items I'm sending will get me over that mark so that I can, you know, get some free site credits and spend it to source inventory for me to sell. What I personally do with the Real Rail is when I find items in the thrift store or wherever, sometimes I get them from thread up boxes, I will usually list them myself first and then wait about 30 days and see if they sell. My customer is really just not the designer customer, so I have a really hard time selling that type of stuff, um, to be honest. So I do send in quite a few things, but I will make more money if I sell them myself. So I, you know, cross my fingers, list them, wait a month, and then if they don't sell or have any bites, off to the real real they go. They have a huge extensive list of brands that they accept and sell on their website. However, it is not inclusive of everything that they will accept. For example, Vince is a brand that I have trouble moving myself, even though it's not, you know, super high end. It just doesn't move for me, even if I price it pretty low. So I will take it and pull it for the real rail. It's not on their list, but every time I've sent it, they have accepted it. So I don't know, uh, your mileage may vary there. Um, you might have to send it in a few times. They also state on their website that they don't accept damaged or flawed items. Uh, in my experience. Also not true because they have accepted and sold quite a few items um, from me that weren't perfect. So they had a Stella McCartney trench coat um, that had like seam issues on the back. You can clearly see them in the photos that they took, um, but it still sold. It was one of my highest sales that year. So um, I also had a Mason Margiela cardigan um, that had like a little string that connects to like the fastener on the other side of the cardigan and it was completely stretched out. Again, shown in the photos, they didn't really put the right condition on the listing but it still sold and I got my money so I'm happy. But yeah, like I said earlier, your mileage may vary. So I'm filming this on March 10th. This box is going out tomorrow, March 11th, which is a Friday. I don't know how long it's going to take them to process these items. I'm hoping rather quickly um, because I, you know, want to get that promotion um, with the site credit. So we'll see. Um, I don't know when this video will go live because what I'm going to try to do is once they accept hopefully, um, the items, or if they reject them, I want to be able to put something on the screen. So I will probably do like a red X or something similar um, if they reject an item, and I will put a photo of the listing um, when they get to that point, um, if they accepted the item. I figured I would do it that way, um, just so you can kind of see what they're accepting and what they're pricing things at. Um, and I will tell you that I am in the middle tier I don't know what it's called. Um, I know I'm not the VIP, which is the top level tier, and I think you have to sell like $10,000 in a year period to get there. I'm nowhere close. Um, so I'm in the middle tier, and uh, I think my commission at this point is 60%. Um, so items over a certain amount, I'll get 60%. The one thing I don't like about the real real is that there's a lot of inconsistencies and you also can't change your pricing. So 
The pricing is really dependent on who's opening and processing your box, so it can be wildly different. Um, and even though they do give you like a local rep who's supposed to, you know, be your support for any questions or concerns, mine is terrible. Um, so I did reach out to Daniela um, Ivy and Blush over on Instagram, and she does have a YouTube channel as well. I did a video thrifting with her about a month or so ago. Um, but uh, she told me you can request a new one, so I'm gonna try to do that. But every time I've had an issue with the real real, she's just been completely unresponsive, which doesn't help. So the other thing I will say is if you're not happy with the price or you know they're putting your items on a hella sale, which is often the case, so watch out for that, you can recall your items. So um, I have never done it because like I said, my rep is not responsive. So even if I were to reach out to her and I have her phone number so I can text or call her and email, she's responding to nothing. Um, so it'd be really a pain for me to recall an item and by the time they get to it or somebody gets to it, um, it'd probably have already sold. But anyways, the real world will get your items. They'll do all the work for you. They'll photograph it. They'll list it, obviously, ship it, they'll deal with returns which they do have a two week return period um, you get paid out on the 15th of every month which will account for that two weeks so if someone buys an item from you on the last possible day of the month um, they'll have two weeks to return it which will bring you right about to the 15th of the month and obviously what you get paid out for the items that sell is A, based on how much it sells for on the real real, whether it was on sale, whether someone used a coupon because that will affect it as well, and what your tier is uh, as a consigner on the real real, um, which does affect your payout. But anyways, let's get into this box. I do have a few more that aren't gonna be included in this box just because this is all I could fit in here. And also some of the items are still with their you know 30 days I'm trying to sell it myself so first things first we have Mary Mecco size 44 not quite sure what that equates to in US sizing um, this is a velour cardigan it's technically supposed to be a wrap but it is missing the tie um, and I didn't realize that until I got it home and was looking up the style it is a rare print um, this pretty pattern um, and I'm hoping the real world doesn't realize that um, it's missing a tie because you could still wear it it would just be an open front cardigan versus a wrap style top but we'll see next I have a pair of Chloe espadrilles um, also to note that you may have seen some of these items in previous thrift hauls um, this is just a compiling of everything that I'm sending in so these are the Chloe espadrilles they do have a little bit of wear um, for example like right here there is like some glue on the jute part of the espadrille. So I don't know if they will accept these or not. They might have too much wear for them, but we will see. Um, next I have a pair of Acres Punto. These are wool slacks, trousers. These are a size eight, just a black pant, straight leg, good career wear piece, which I really can't sell. This is Emporio Armani, not one of their favorite labels in my past experience, but hopefully they'll still take it. This is a size 42. And this is like a little cropped jacket with this ruffle detail. This is a Tory Burch bag. I actually got this in a Thread Up Rescue box. I think it was the name brand handbag one does have some minor condition issues, but overall it's in pretty good shape. Also a rare piece, so I'm hoping that that will sway them to take it. So not only do they have an extensive list of luxury items, but they also take some run of the mill stuff like Nike. So I'm sending in this. This came from my daughter's closet. It's just like a long sleeve thermal. Next we have a jeans brand that just does not move for me at all. It is Current Elliott, size 26. This is one that I don't normally even bother listing myself. I will just put it in a box to save for the next real real um, box. But yeah, these are just like a skinny jean raw hem. 
Um, these I didn't list only because they're white and I just didn't want to even try to list them and potentially spill something or get something on them. So like I said, just put them in a box to wait for when I'm gonna send one in. This is C by Chloe. These are a size two, like I said, white pant, straight leg. This is Rag and Bone, the Dre skinny jean, size 28. These I did list, but they are colored denim. They're like a burgundy color, which doesn't do the best for me. So to the real roll they go. Another pair of jeans. These I didn't list because A, I hate jeans. And B, this brand doesn't do so hot for me. These are size 25, Alice and Olivia, which I've never found jeans for before. Straight leg, raw release tan. This is Diane Von Furstenberg or Diane Von Surf and Turf if you watch Jack and Ryan. It is a pretty black and white silk blouse, size two. This is the second time sending this in. This is a vintage piece from Sonia Raquel, size 42. And it's just a black wool pullover. This is another item I got in a thread up box. It is a rose gold Michael Kors watch. It does come with some extra cufflinks and the box, um, but I've never sent accessories into the real real, so we'll see. This I actually got when I went thrifting with Daniela, like I mentioned earlier. This is Escada size small. And I literally got it just to send to the real real. And it is just a long sleeve tee. This brand I love, but just, ugh, it just doesn't move. This is equipment size small. Normally I find they're like 100% silk button downs. This one does have silk sleeves, but the bodice is not silk and it is not a button down. So don't know how that will do. This I am sending in for a consignment client. This is Michael, Michael Kors, size medium. And it is a cold shoulder top, which I don't even know if it's still in style with this little triangle keyhole. This is a brand I almost exclusively always send to the real real because I can't sell it, but it retails for a lot and people seem to like it. This is Rachel Zoe. And this is like a mini, mini houndstooth print blazer. This is another Diane Von Furstenberg. This is a size medium, not silk, but a cute little blue three quarter length sleeve blouse. This is Karen Millen. Here is the tag. This is a newer tag for her. Size US 12 and it is a striped pullover with this little button accent at the neck. Another Rachel Zoe, this is 100% linen, so perfect for the upcoming season. Size medium, little striped nautical looking number. It's blue and white striped with the little knot detail. This is rag and bone jeans, size small, just a very soft um, but plain gray pullover, long sleeve. And I have basically the same exact one in black, had to change my battery because, you know, this is my life. Um, but anyways, this one is my second time sending in. It is Polo Ralph Lauren, which I'm honestly surprised that they take. But last time I sent it in, they rejected it, stating that they don't accept this brand. Um, but they had literally just sold a piece from Polo Ralph Lauren um, for me the previous day. So I'm trying it again. We'll see. Um, sometimes that happens. You have to send things in more than once. Also, their brands um, do change quite frequently. Um, for example, sometimes St. John is on there, sometimes it's not. Um, if I find it, I just send it in anyways, and they almost always accept it. Um, so yeah, this is a short sleeve tee um, with a little polo embroidery. This I did show recently. This is Donna Karen New York, but not DKNY. So this is the higher end brand. 
and this is a sheer bodysuit. I did photograph this, but ended up not listing it because I just couldn't do it justice um, because I don't have a mannequin. So I feel like the real real will have a better shot at getting that sold. All right, just two pieces left. This is ALC. There's the label. And these are a silk blend pant with like this weird fold over thing. I don't really know. And they're like a cargo style pant. So I did list these, but I don't really know how to market them. So I'm hoping that they'll do a better job. And last but not least, I didn't even know they accepted this brand until Daniela told me. Daniela has a wealth of knowledge about The Real Real, so if you um, want to know more about it, I will leave a link to her channel below. This is LK Bennett. And I have had these for quite a while, way longer than the normal 30 days, but like I said, I didn't know that The Real Real even sold this brand. So these are some really cute wedges, espadrille style with the ankle strap. Here is a close-up of the toe. I think they're really cute, but apparently nobody wants them. So we'll see how this box goes, but that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out here on YouTube to know what type of content you enjoy seeing from me. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you here in my weird little family on the internet, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.